Sure, let's do it. Let's post this in Casino's content promo. Is it? Okay, it's go actually going live. We're yeah, live. We, we are live. Yeah, we're, we've been live for actually half an hour. Oh, awkward. All right. Well, then I will send it out. Uh, what's the link? Uh, Twitch.tv slash OG podcast. I'll send you a link right now. Hold on. Charlie likes to have gotcha moments. Sometimes. Hey, Alexa, get Dom. Okay, bye. Get Dom? What is Dom? I'm Dom. He's saying gotcha moments. I was telling Alexa to, to get to get me. I got got. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast, the Marvel Strike Force Insider Edition. I am your host, Vash, joined, as always, by the illustrious Dudley Meat himself, Ashley Pastrami, and also, with no video this week, is joining us, or actually any internet for that matter, because he decided to go out for some reason, is uh, Chef Crondo, always with us. And uh, joining yeah, us I call this Tom week Cat is... To do it. Uh, yeah, because you because you knew what was going. You're like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with MSF anymore. So I'm just gonna like you know, kill everything regarding it. So, uh, and joining us this week is Casino back on the pod for his fourth appearance now. I think fourth, so. Third, fourth, something like that. It, at least third, possibly fourth. Yeah, Could I be. think fourth. Could be. Anyway, how's it going, guys? How's uh, how's everyone holding up in quarantine? I wore my first face mask today. Oh great! Well, you're in Brooklyn. So How was that? that makes sense. Well, I, well, I haven't, I haven't like normally when we go to like the grocery store or something. You know, we just like stay far away or do as much as we can. But now it's starting to get like this week and the next week or when they say most likely New York will peak. So I went to do uh, laundry today, and so I wore one just and you know I brought I have I have a little leftover hand sanitizer. The the laundry mat I went to, they have like a a, wash, or a a sink with soap, so like you know, just trying to be as like strict as I can in terms of being outside. You know what I mean? It sucks wearing wearing a face mask. Sucks this whole thing. It sucks. But what do you? What can you possibly do? I got you know? food. I got food delivered the other day, and the guy who was dropping off the food uh, for the first time acted like he was terrified of me getting close to him uh, when I opened yeah. the door. He's like, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it on the stairs. <laughs> Yeah, I had a package delivered the other day, uh, and the dude straight up left the package on the front, like in front of the door. I was like, "There you go, dog," and it bounced. I was like, "All right, man." I'm seeing my video froze up again. It happens. It, it's a squad cast thing. You can just leave it. It'll it'll unstick itself at some okay. point. So okay. it's 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 a non issue. Just it's a weird bug. I've emailed them about it, and it's just a thing that happens sometimes. Squad cast is a, is a, is a great program, but it definitely. Definitely has its quirks, right? But also, I really like. I was saying this before, before we got going. I think that we gen genuinely are like overloading our our country's internet because our like our the in, the internet infrastructure is already old as fuck. That's oh well. I there's their first curse. There you word. go. No, nope. you went within <laughs> like the first three minutes, man. It was actually at the three minute mark exactly. Yep. Well, nice. what are you gonna do? It's uh, we're in odd times, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine but yeah i i agree the uh they're showing or showcasing that like healthcare should be a right not to go political internet well, service should be inter internet considered service a sh should almost should almost certainly be a right considering yeah, like how necessary it is i mean now you have schools that are finding a difficult like inner city schools are finding it difficult to get their programming and schooling to kids because not, like a, a large percentage don't have internet yeah so I had a weird bug. I hit I hit the uh, I hit a link and it popped up and over the squadcast stuff. So sorry for everybody listening. Uh, anyway, you can find us on Insta. I know this is the longest intro ever. You can find us on Instagram at og.podcast. Our Twitter is overachievers p. Our website is beingoverachiever.com, where you get this episode and every episode where we talk about all sorts of fun stuff about Marvel Strike Force and other things too. Like we just had a, an episode on Saturday where we had my cousin come on and he works for Riot Games and he was talking about League of Legends and Runes of Legends of Rune Terra and uh, what's the other one they have coming out? Valorant. Team Fight yes, Valorant. Tactics. Yeah, yeah. Valorant's the one that's coming out. Team, yeah, Team Fight Tactics being the uh, mobile one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about a bunch of other stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I should be on the lookout for that. I think that'll go out the day after this one goes live so we release this normally on tuesdays at 8 a.m and i think that'll go live on wednesday at 8 a.m so we're just trying to do a lot more content and whatnot for 
the podcast while we're stuck in quarantine because uh, we got nothing else to do. So here we are talking about our favorite thing in the world, Marvel Strike Force. And of course, my mouse just froze. So that's great. Well, I think everything is, is Casino here right now. Are you? Are I you am. Here? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. We are, we are just riddled with technical difficulties this tonight. Is, we're just overloading the system. The system is the system. So, and uh, I can, oh, there goes my mouth. It's fixed. Now, so, so frozen. Anyway, so uh, yeah. What do we got going on this week um, with the recap? Since we're doing this weekly, I feel like there's not, uh, we don't have as much to talk about. So I, I like the Marvel best Strike actually. Force stuff. Yeah. yeah you know, we, we were yeah. doing it bi weekly. Now we're doing it weekly since we have nothing else to do. Well, if it, uh, if it makes it easier, uh, me and Valley do a news update weekly and we have a giant list of topics. I can just forward you guys the, the topic list so you guys can give your take on them. Sure. Yeah, that's that's, want, that's what the community on. is all about. Sharing and caring and whatnot. So um, oh, I just got the text that my car is ready. Yay. So they're like, hey, you can go pick it up now. Uh, anyway, I, you know, starting off this week, we had a Gamora Blitz with uh, it had a weird bug that had an extra hour on it. I saw that. Yeah. I noticed that. That was kind of strange, but. It totally. all threw us for a loop, and I know some of our alliance mates um, uh, accidentally went for the Gamora Blitz as opposed to the Red Skull Blitz round two, which also happened. So Red Skull Blitz round two happened with uh, – there's quite a bit of um, blitzing going on for that. The predictions were a lot higher than normal. I can't – where did they line up, Casino? Do you remember where they went? Was it higher than it predicted or much – lower pretty so, much right on so the first time we predicted uh like 19 uh or sorry sorry no the first time we predicted like 18 million for top 2000 and mm -hmm. they landed at 19.6 and wow. everyone was pissed at us we went higher than ever before uh but you know this was the first time we ever had a earned currency milestone event on top of a pandemic on top of extra <laughs> blitz charges for everyone so it's very hard to predict but we went higher than ever before and we're still too low uh, people throw out some super fun conspiracy theories about how we intentionally tanked the scores so all of our whale friends could uh, get the character and screw everyone else, which is uh, totally our evil That's plan so uncovered. Stupid. It is possibly the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And 200 people uh, found it a valid thing to suggest on a Facebook group. So blows my mind. Um, I mean, it's and then kind of common knowledge that all those estimates, you kind of take them with a grain of salt and you always aim to go like, above them by maybe like 10 percent. i don't know well that's the thing is even people who did that this time got screwed out of uh, red skull and uh, that's how yeah. high the scores were the first time which is never our goal like we don't want people following the predictions to get screwed but again there's literally no way to know what the scores are going to be we just give it our, our best estimate and when there's a bunch of factors overlapping that we've never seen before all we can do is right. give our best prediction and sorry that we're not omniscient but so for this second one uh, we went higher as well. We went up to, I think, like 21 mil. And then the top 2,000 for this one was only 16.5. So now it was way too high, and now we're getting harassed for driving up the scores. Can't win at all, right? This well, you know, what? Let's, let, you know what, Casino? Let, let's, stop, let's stop being around the bush. Let's, not, let's, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. Why are you a Fox Next shill, and will you become uh -huh. a Scopely shill of the same? <laughs> So uh, I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I swear to God, I'm kidding. I love I, I know you're joking, but actually, so I have a, a little bit of news on that front. I am now technically about to be a Marvel shill. Before we get back in, is there like some kind of inside joke about Walmart with you? Everyone keeps saying go to yes. Walmart for a cable. Yes. So, all right, that's its own story. Then we'll get back to the, the Marvel <laughs> shill story. But so right. uh, I tried to do the first ever viewer whale wars. People have been asking for a long time, would you ever do a whale wars with a viewer? And I've been trying to explain get for a, green a little screen. while. Well, I've been saying get a green screen, get a webcam, uh, make sure you have at least 20 orbs, make sure you understand how to use the recording software um, and all that. Wait, I it ain't did, that easy. There's like mad shit involved. There, there is. Well, that's what we found out. So the long story short is uh, we spent three hours trying to set up. No. Um, when I when the, the viewer realized we needed a second monitor so that he could uh, full screen his OBS preview in one and actually open the orbs in the... Uh, emulator and the other he uh he said oh uh all right i can get this set up i'll be right back and then 10 get minutes later his alliance mate he hopped in uh the chat and was like um they didn't have the cable he was looking for at the first walmart so he's shooting to a second walmart real quick <laughs> oh, didn't boy. tell us That's when great. he left just just went <laughs> to two walmarts uh and uh yeah he said a bunch of uh, meme worthy stuff like uh i knew i'd be quick uh, as soon as i got in there i went fast i got my track legs so I grabbed that cable real quick. I got my track legs. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. 
So that is amazing. And, anyway, after three hours uh, of him coming back and trying to set up, then he drops this revelation towards the end, like, ah, oh, man, just, just trying to get this working on my Surface Pro just isn't working. Let me try my no! desktop. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, he does. Then he goes, let me try my desktop. And uh, yeah, that floored me. I'm like, you've had a desktop this whole time. So he starts downloading everything on the desktop, gets everything downloaded on the desktop, and then goes, uh, this is my work computer, and I don't have administrative permissions oh to god. enable these things. Oh my god. Oh, it was the whole the whole nine yards. So finally, uh, again, after three hours, I just ended up doing it with Tony Scangili. Uh, so if there was ever a masterclass in why in the, it, 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 like why you don't do like it's very nice to like if you want to bring on a, a a guest or a viewer just to like talk or something like that sure but like involving like video involving uh the necessary hardware involving solve any of those things it's you gotta have you know i don't know you know it looks easy people think oh, i can open orbs on my phone i can do well worse yeah yeah. yeah. Well, they can. Clearly, they can. Yeah. 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 And then you got to yeah. have a computer so it doesn't drop frames, or you hit, you know, you record the wrong channels of audio. That but kind I mean, of here's, stuff. Like, look at, like, like, you know, we we've been going, we've been uh, streaming now for forty minutes. We've been recording the podcast for not thirteen, and even all of us having the proper everything, we've had problems because you don't know things can go wrong regardless. Oh yeah. So so that was a, an experience. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, everyone thought it was so hilarious, the train wreck that it was, and so many memes spawned from it. I'm probably going to attempt another one at this point just because. Oh, you have to. It can't go yeah. worse. Uh, no, that was, that was, that you have to continue with that. I mean, and if anything, that'll just be, that'll be your shtick at that point. Yep. Um, but so then, um, uh, just real quick back on the, uh, the Marvel show. Yeah, thing. Super so, War. <laughs> so everything I do with, uh, Fox next for now, scopely, there's no money involved or anything. It's, I'm just part of the volunteer envoy program. Uh, I don't get compensated from them in any way. And so I just, uh, got the news the other day that I got approved by Marvel to be an official content creator for Marvel super war. But Hell that, yeah. that will actually come with, uh, the handsome compensation of up to $50 worth of in-game currency <laughs> for, to. for a video. That's so, the thing is what, what also in that regard, what do they think that like this game, like, unless you're like Ninja on, on, on Fortnite, they're not giving you shit for like a game, like Marvel super war, like strike for any of that. Sh like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you, what do they think? Like, what do these people think? Uh, I don't know. I, I think uh, my guess is that when I, you know, will say that I think the company is not the malicious bad. and they don't hate the players and want everyone to be miserable. They You're just assume like, oh, only someone working for the company would say that. Clearly, they hate us. So, so that, that actually a question about Super War. I don't know. I actually followed your guide on how to get it running and it works. But do you have to do the same bullshit thing I have to do in terms of every 10th game? You have to create a guest, another guest account to continue going. No, but so I can explain that um, the uh, the basically the first 10 games, you're not against actual players. Uh, it's a ping thing. I believe you're you're. Oh, oh my, God. my God. I thought, so been <laughs> I thought I've been killing it. I thought I've been I thought I've been killing it. Oh, my God. Um, dude, That's so funny. I've been going as bots this whole time. I think so. I have to see what matches you're playing. I could be wrong. It, it could just be a thing they enforce after the 10th game, but they they have uh, bots that pretend to be players to oh uh, get God. people winning. And that so That is so funny. They, they do it in, in ranked. If you lose too many ranked <laughs> games in a row, they'll throw in the bot uh, players, and they'll have like, go. player names and stuff. <laughs> I gotta oh go. Oh my god! Uh, you, like, I, I gotta, gotta tell go. you, it's, it's just funny. I don't know for those of you that don't know, like he's been the other day. He like posted about how badass he's been doing. He went like twenty five and zero against somebody, and he's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> Dude, he's somebody somebody crush the white please. claw on somebody, his head. Somebody clip that, please. Oh my god, that was oh so good. Um, yeah, this game is actually right, stronger than I thought. <laughs> That just made my day. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so I think that's what it is. And then I think uh, to actually play with players, you have to have sufficient ping. And so uh, yeah, their servers... Yeah, like 250. It's bullshit. Right. Well, their servers are all in Asia. So I am as close to Asia as you can be in the U.S., I think. Right. I'd have to double check on, like, Hawaii or something. But I'm so far on the West Coast, and my ping fluctuates between 198 and 205. And you have to be yeah. 200 or less. 
Yeah, I'm always at 240 to 250. And see, I, it had all – god damn it, that really hurt actually. Oh, um, that's so good. It actually really hurt. I'm not even kidding. Oh, uh, we're going to clip I, that. I, like the, the, it shows player names. So I was like, oh, yo, I'm just killing it. No, nope, bots this whole time. Probably. I, I can look. I mean it, it, it's possible that they – so some people are theorizing that they uh, impose an artificial ping restriction after the 10th game. Yeah, uh, let me, after 10 games, it won't let me go in at all. I mean, I would say just try sending messages in the game. See if anyone ever responds to something you say in chat. With nope. A... Okay, there you go. I've always been like, hey, uh, bot missing or anyone need mid help or anything, and nope. Okay. Yeah. Fuck, man. Um, yeah, so so once you uh, can actually play with other players, uh, yeah, you just don't have the ping. And I have been harassing them nonstop for a global launch date, and they're not telling I, anyone. I mean, also, like, the, the harsh thing is they are a Chinese company, so who knows how much heart, like, how many... Think that how much they have to deal with because of coronavirus, which is I actually I've been talking to their community manager and uh, a lot. I'm sure, yeah, it's, it is yeah. affecting. Them. I mean, every yeah, everyone. Yeah, I, I emailed them like, hey, I'm a big fan of this game. I'm very excited for global launch. I am playing right now, but I would love if you have an envoy thing or anything. I uh, would love to would love to be a part of this. And they're like, thank you for liking your game, and that was it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no doubt, yeah. Check out later. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, tell no, uh, me squat. Back to Marvel Strike Force, which is what this podcast is about. Then we had a, a fantastic oh, yeah, that game. Game with it. oh no, that yeah. was, no that was, that was, that was well that. worth that was well worth the detour. A hundred percent worth the detour. My goodness, I don't think I'll ever forget cloth. that. Oh my goodness, and I can't wait for him to like smash, try to smash on his head. Yet you again. know he's going to go for the second one. He's got to. I think he's going to prep it though. I hope yeah, he preps it. Yeah, so. but, um, poke up a few holes with a pin. Yeah. <laughs> So with that, so we just had the Gamora Blitz and the Red Skull Blitz um, coming up uh, that just finished up and then now currently going on, which we have the, you know, the, the normal Blitzes, the Orbisol and the Red Star Rampages, which is nothing crazy. And then with uh, the new raid coming in with Beta, I believe, right? That's what's coming through with um, now with what global character shards in the the orbs, which I think is kind of cool. Global I'm, I'm, Hero, I think. Or it might it just be global. Hero? I don't remember if it's global or global hero. It's probably just global. I'll take a look right now. It's uh, well, it just uh, doesn't really say on the actual thing on the outline tree, but that's that's cool. I like that. It's, well, it's can you, can you see if you can see the orbs in the shop? You can just see who's in it. Okay, oh, it is yeah. global here. Global here it is. So I mean, I'm I'm all right with that because that gives like you know some people. Uh, it gives like Colossus shards. It gives like Elsa shards. You I'm know, getting the questions by the way, Krando. I got them already. So I'm looking forward to that, and that'll be a nice uh, nice welcome change. I think from the general greek raids that have been coming around what do you guys think about it so far with that coming up i should say uh oh the improved champion pool yeah sure yeah i mean it's better uh we're we're excited to see if we get yo-yo and or cyclops uh coming up both of those will be worth pursuing (laughs) Yeah, in terms of blitzes, or are you talking about in the actual orbs itself? In the in the raid orbs, uh, the oh yeah yeah. The, oh, is that is that a orbs. prediction? Well, yeah, yeah, sort of. Uh, they, they if you look at the the banner they sent out, they said they're adding characters to the right. beta raid orbs. So yeah, we're seeing if uh, if they add yo-yo or cyclops or something like that. That'd I be nice. So, man. I have five red star yo-yo with only at two stars, which who, is unfortunate. Who don't you have at five red stars, dude? Like, what the hell? I'm telling you, it's a catch-up thing. Newer players, they they gen- are very. They're it's a, the the algorithm or something is way more generous. Like, I mean, that's it's just it's a it's a smart business tactic. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I got you it. have. I think you have more five stars than I do. I might. I have more five red uh, seven red stars than Casino does. You have more seven I, red stars than I do. Same it's here. Possible huh? to have less. <laughs> we're, we're at, are, are you still at zero? I am still at zero. It's okay, buddy. We're still. I'm, I'm I got. There with you. I got my twenty second six red star the other day. Because you know the thing I'm curious about at this point is I like clearly like those of us that know you know that you're not a a, a dang fox next shell, but I am curious if they are at this point purposely holding you back from a seven red star out of sh- out of like sheer the meme making the exactly. meme of it exactly yeah. exactly I, I don't know uh, I wonder that myself um, yeah I, I'm also wondering that I'm not sure if they have the technology to go in and, and screw someone but uh, I'm yeah. convinced they do but that's just me I mean I, I'm I to the point where I'm, I'm almost ready to go full conspiracy theory with it yeah, uh, put the tinfoil hat on. This is not you my know, idea of a joke. I'm curious, like at this point, right? Like, let's say you did pull your first seven red star, and it was something obscure like Merc Soldier or something like that. Would you have preferred just to not get a seven red star at that point? 
Um, no, absolutely not. Because that <laughs> moment would be celebrated. Gotcha. Oh, huge! I, base. Dude, gotcha. dude, your 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 fan base would explode. It would implode, <laughs> yeah. rather implode. Everyone who it, dislikes me would also be super excited to watch. That moment, so. <laughs> yeah, it would just be great oh. for everyone. Yeah. It's a win win. Everybody right? wins, dude. Yep. And and like yeah. if, if that happened, if it was actually Merc Soldier, not much would change for me. I would just start saying, I want to get my first real seven red star. Yeah. Okay. There, there you gotcha. go. Gotcha. Then you get Stitcher and then you'll be yep. you'll be good at that. Then so. I, no, then I'll still want my first real seven. Real um, seven, yeah. Uh, but, anyway, but, uh, ironically, it, I, I almost am glad I'm not a Fox X employee specifically because of the what seems to be the curse of the Fox X employees. Cerebro has one seven red star and it is hand blade master. Uh <laughs> Zeke's just pulled her first seven red star the other day, and it is Ravager Boomer. And the guy that I just did the Q and A with, who makes the character kits, has one seven red star, and it is Hydra Sniper. Well, I mean, that, right. okay, it's yeah, I mean, terrible. I have Cree Cy- Cyborg, which is not the best, but it's not the worst. I think it's better than like Stitcher. I don't know. Cree Cyborg is not as good if you're a newer player, but Cree Cyborg is excellent on the Ultimus team. If I had a seven red I star Cree ultimate. Cyborg, I, I would ultimate. love it. Yeah, that Ultimus non minion Cree team is actually really, really good. So. I still have Ultimus, which is hilarious. I, I'm almost at four mil TCP. And I don't have Ultimus. I think that's such a, I think that's a hilarious thing. No, it's pretty normal. Uh, yeah. I'm going to guess that you are saving gold, not ranking up a bunch of people that you could. He w- had a bunch of gold. I'm still at three right, million. Less, less about the gold. I mean, do you have a bunch of people that you could rank up to get the extra frags, but you haven't been? So the thing is, I have a shit ton of gold. I'm now out of training materials. Completely, and it's all it's it's very it's very it's very slow climb because I'm still my Asgardians are almost all level seventy. I just finished X Men all level seventy. I just finished Supernatural and Aim at all level seventy. Now I'm doing Asgardians level seventy. Right, but I'm asking, do you have a bunch oh, of sorry. characters who you could star up, but you're just not? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I every time I have the ability to star, I'm starring. I okay. I've actually been very lucky with gold orbs. I I I don't know what the deal is. I know that they did make it a little more generous, I think, but even even besides the generosity, my my gold orb opening has been insane, dude. I'm I haven't been under two million gold in a month. Nice. All right. Which is not crazy. bad. Yeah. That's better how than much, what I do. How much did you say you spend every day? Like at least like five, six hundred K? Oh, e- easily. Easily. I like to throw this number out there because it surprises a lot of people who uh like to talk about the state of gold in the game. For a and this when I say late game, I'm a pretty advanced late game. But for a completely free to play player who's a pretty advanced late game, the average gold income is between 1.2 and 1.3 million gold per day on average. That's not to say yeah. if you log in for one day, you're definitely going to make that much. But over oh. a week or over a month, that's yeah. the daily average. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I genuinely think right. that I'm probably hitting that to be honest. I like, but yeah, now the problem is I've oh, hit a wall. With anniversary event and stuff. I've, I've hit a wall with training mats. So like. That's that's just annoying because twenty training mats doesn't even equal a, a level after level sixty seven. How uh, is there anyone you're really target farming in uh, the arena store? Uh, at this point, oh, I, I actually today I got uh, Human Torch to uh, his last star, and now I'm doing Heimd- is Heimdall, right? Heimdall's yeah, in the yeah. arena, yeah, Heimdall. So now it's Heimdall. Okay, because if you ever desperately need training mats, the Kingpin orbs. Uh, give quite a bit uh, well after heimdall i won't I, I won't be doing that anymore so I'll, I'll focus on that's a good I, I forgot all about that that's a good call yeah i should probably do that because i have like sixty thousand arena credits or something oh like that, yeah so. dude oh if i had that many arena, it also gives a ton of orange gear i'd be all over it if i were you yeah just, you know there's no mini yeah really? they do but there's no mini uniques in there it's just regular orange gear like there's so, normal like, uniques is there normal uniques in there yeah, no didn't know that all right well, I'm I'm focused down on mini uniques right now for the time being because I'm very close to starting DD3, which uh, I would have been able to start, uh, you know, now considering, you know, with with the milestone event happening. But everything bugged out when yeah. I hit 26k. So unfortunately, I lost a bunch of gear that I couldn't get. So hopefully, everything will resolve itself quickly in the next week. So that way everything, everything, yeah. Oh, you mean specifically the uh, most recent uh, second strike milestones? Yeah, second stri- strike milestones. When I hit, once so, I hit twenty six k, all a majority of the um, tiers bugged out for me, and I couldn't right they, claim them. They are claim. aware of this. So what it is is there's like six or seven of them, and as soon as you claim any one, they they all become available to claim at the same time, even if you're not to them. And whichever one you claim, then they all become unclaimable, 
and they're yeah. aware of this and they're waiting until the event ends to see where you would have landed and then they're going to send everything mm. out that you're supposed to get so you will yeah. get it but uh okay not getting uh, it yet is annoying. Valley Flyin is literally being prevented from getting into Dark Dimension Three because he needs. I saw that. Like that. Oh yeah. my god! Same. I'm. I was literally. I was like five um, uh, items short from a tier fourteen Hella that I was going to get, and I was ready for it. And then I I claimed the um the, the whatever the uh, rank thirty two one was, and it just it locked me out, and I couldn't get it. So I was like, I was kind of really upset about that, and I've been refreshing the store to try to get those last five, like you know pink eggs or whatever they're called yeah uh, the lattices well, the lattice, yeah yeah and so now I, it, right i mean isn't that yeah they're gonna give, they're gonna give uh everything to everyone but yeah well i don't know about yeah. that but they're, they're at least gonna give what you should have gotten um right. and i've been taking screenshots of everything of what i should have been getting just just in the event that you know that doesn't add up so just to be on the safe side so with that but i don't know i was i'm i'm looking forward to trying dd3 because i've been i've been hurting for a new game mode something to stream um just to it's gonna be short try it out. i see well, that ashy <laughs> ah damn it <laughs> um no, no i've been i've been reading chat so i try not to interrupt too much to to respond to chat but if uh if i'm incorrect about that i do want to retract it apparently the kingpin orbs don't have the normal orange uniques i thought they did my bad yeah i thought they i thought they did or i thought they had just regular they have something but not like i the tried opening them right they have something I can't remember what it was, but I know that I they used to at some point, and then they stopped at after something because I was opening a bunch. I was like, "Why don't I have any?" I mean, I'm having shit luck with all these orange unique orbs. And then I looked looked at the rewards that weren't in there, or at least what I was looking for wasn't in there. So that could be the case. But anyway, uh, what are you guys looking forward to coming up? I know that there's a they added a bunch of new things for the login achievements so well, you can actually for us who log in past 720 days you get new stuff where they change from hulk shards to golden red star or holy fragments. mother of cool. god nice. i'll take that nice that's not like that's that's not like a you know a, a, an olive branch or anything like that but at least it's moving in the right direction so at least we're not getting hulk shards for everything so true i'm curious about that that's that's kind of cool i wish they would have overhauled the achievements altogether because uh they basically added in a bunch of good late game player achievements, stuff that we should have had, things that it should keep tracking, like beyond 720 days, all those things. And they did, it sounds like, you know, they're adding in more power cores and stuff, so they are putting in good stuff. But the idea that now all the achievements are going to be crap until about the two year mark, and then you'll start getting the good achievements. I don't love that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's better than just not having them. I'm definitely excited for that. I mean, compared to like a lot of other games on the market, I feel like the the achievement system for mid game players is probably dog shit. Oh, in yeah. Comparison. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine how 15 power cores and like 500 premium orb fragments really helps accelerate any kind of farming grind whatsoever. It doesn't. So they, they made that like, so they, they had uh, a lot of what I, I guess I would call like placeholder stuff when they were trying to get the game launched. They just had to have something and they were like, we can, we can always go back and reevaluate the economy of it. Let's just put some stuff in there for now. So the yeah. achievements was one of the first, first things that they did way before they even decided on like how good each orb was going to be and how rare. And that's why you see things like training orb frags and ability orb frags. They, they just thought they were going to give those things a lot of value and they ended up not doing so. So the yeah. very first thing that uh, I raised, I, the very first time I visited their offices, I was like, Hey, I know you brought us here to check out new stuff, Ant-Man and Wasp, those exciting new characters. But uh, real quick, you guys' achievements are crap for even for today. This game's been out like three months and your achievements are awful. Um, if you guys don't have time to redo them, I will redo them for you. And you can just review and sign off. But I'm happy to redo your achievements for you. And they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you on that. Of course. Cricket, cricket. Yeah, no, I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect them to be like, sure, yeah, get to work. But uh, yeah, I mean, I would because it's free work, right? So I mean, the, <laughs> but I mean, I'm sure that's also like a legal thing, though. Like oh, yeah, in terms yeah, of like, like, yeah, I was just teasing. No, I, I didn't expect them to take me up on it, but I that's Tease how me, bad baby. they that's how bad they've been for the entire time. Was the point where I was like, I I'll fix this if you guys won't. Someone should. I mean, for a company that is as money hungry as they are, I I have always said that I just don't understand how they've not overhauled the beginner process. Like, if to make a new account in this game, I could only imagine it's a extremely painful grind um well i not so the thing is you it takes a while before you start to understand what an extremely painful grind it actually is and you get stuff a lot faster as a new player 
compared to how you did. So I'd say it probably takes like three months before you really start to understand. Like when you first start, you got to remember they throw so much stuff at you so fast. Like your first day of play, you get to like level 22 or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like each day that you open like one premium orb as a new player, like you have a, a healthy chance of like, I just unlocked another new character. Sweet. So stuff flies at you so fast that it takes a while before you actually start feeling it slow down. And, uh, you know, like, like, uh, probably, and I don't know the exact numbers, probably like once you've been playing for like a month, you're probably already in like Ultimus three. So you're probably like one month, Ultimus three, I'll be at Ultimus seven in no time, <laughs> you know, whatever so you're it, that it seems like there's like, like the progression curve as the new players, you're just ramping up really fast. And then it kind of just drops off once you get to the point of like, I, I, mean, I can speak from my experience. That's exactly how it was. Really? A hundred percent. That's how they hook you. And that, that, that creates like, once you are used to progressing so fast and playing so much, that's that urge to be like, ah, I feel like I'm slowing down a little bit. Let me let me just buy a few more power cores. Yeah. I, I, I normally would have been here. Uh, but yeah, they, they get you comfortable with progressing fast and then they slowly slow you down. And that's how literally all mobile games I've ever played work. But yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Uh, just real quick, I know we mentioned it beginning at the beginning of the podcast, but if you have a question, put the letter Q with a colon in the chat, and Dom and Kronda will get to it, and we will ask it at the end of our segment where we do a little Q&A section. So if you, have, if you have a question for Casino or for any of us, feel free to add that in the chat. Um, and for those who are listening, if you want to watch us record this live, normally we do the Sunday mornings. Uh, today, <laughs> today is uh, Monday afternoon, and it's uh, normally um, at like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Eastern or something like that but it's uh twitch.tv slash og podcast is our twitch so yeah so about that white claw crush thing i went outside i went out to get my uh, second drink and mallory was like i was like mallory i just tried crushing a white claw on stream and i failed and i have a bump in my head and she was like did you not pinch the middle of it and i was like Damn, you're so you're so much cooler than i am yeah, that was, you actually kind of do it looks like you have like a little oh i do no i i have sex i i have i have a there's a there's a there's a bump already beauty mark. Look at that. Look at that. Beauty mark. by yeah. my calculations uh if you do like 36 more you can look like joanna <laughs> ah, <there you> <laughs> yeah that, that was that was a, that was a very deep cut and even more deeper for homegirl god that was yeah uh, it, 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 that's either there but man that sucked that must have sucked uh it's okay, you're used to getting beat up in your face, right? I mean, you know, all the time. Master over there. That's why we oh, got MMA yeah. tags over here. That's exactly what we have. Is, MMA, it, tags. is MMA tagged on here right <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah, I tagged it. God damn uh, it. Com coming up, nice. our next legendary event is the Asteroid M for you can get Magneto if you don't have him already seven starred, which you know, I think most of us do. I don't know how you're sitting with it, Dami. But oh, I'm going to get seven star, which or uh, six star, which is nice. That's good. Awesome. He, five, did you get so. Did you get him to five red stars with the milestone event? I'm almost there. I'm at. Uh, I think I'm at 35. I, I might. I. I don't think I'll be able to make it tonight because I think if I'm correct, I. I have two more. So if I buy, if I spend some cores, which I just might actually. Now that you mentioned that, I would. Have, I would do it because if you can get him to five red stars, that's great. Oh, we have to do that. She's right definitely now. good. And then coming up uh, very soon in the next couple of days, I think by the time this starts, is the block party event is coming back, which I am very excited for to have more. Uh, tier formats because I need all of them all the time for all of my characters. That's a, it's a big necessity. Yep, that's my favorite of the flash events. Yeah, well, I like the payday. Although I wish they would kind of update the payday or at least run the payday event more often, which would be nice. I like payday, but payday gives me an amount of gold that's like one or two days worth of gold, and lock party gives me an <laughs> amount of T fours that's a like a that's week a or chunk. two worth of T fours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I like how, you know, in the past when they when they had the Valentine's Day event where we had the Ant-Man and Wasp event that that happened. I wish they would do yeah. more of that in the future, you know, because I know there was like a Rocket and Groot team up. There was a Scarlet Witch and Ms. Marvel. Uh, yeah. Ms. Marvel. There's a couple others that I'm trying to remember. Ant-Man and Wasp. Ahead. Yeah, that was the one that they just redid um, for yeah. Leap Year. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think there was one more team up event. But so all those team up events or like back in the day, they were experimenting with like, should we try flash events? Should we try mini legendary events like the Thanos event and the Electron Crossbow? Should we try uh, the, the team up events? They've just tried different things. So those are all pretty old. But to, to try to really incentivize people to push to wail out on the new characters they made the rewards for like the tier six and tier seven, just crazy good. And they obviously for whatever reason realized like, Oh, looks like we're not uh, successfully convincing enough people to drop hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the new characters just to get the extra little rewards at the end of our event, which is like a duh. And if they made the uh, like, you know, 10,000 T4s, 
you know, then the people who did get it, it would just be preposterous. So they can't make oh, it. Yeah. Dinners. So yeah. Anyway, they, they were like, they just kind of abandoned that idea. But yeah. all the people who were like, oh, I was so close have been like, when are you bringing it back? Like, yeah. I want those T4s, damn it. So right. that's why they've been bringing them back. It's just because like, I think it's more than anything, just like when enough people complain. I think that's really what's doing it. Yeah. So the moral of the story is everybody complain about the flash events and they'll come back around faster. <laughs> the, the team up events, specifically. The team up events, team up events. Gotcha. Yeah. Flash maybe events maybe even different. drop in there like, God, I'm just, I'm just like 50 shards short of getting to that seven star one. Maybe I'll buy an offer if they were going to roll this out. Yeah, and it's definitely going to happen. That's exactly. Oh, it. <laughs> can we actually speaking of things that uh, have happened? I think one of the one of the in terms of offers, this this recurring. A two dollar fifty shard offer that's been changing out two characters every so every time has been phenomenal. Oh yeah! Like I've been saying this forever. You do those type of things, and you will have someone like me doing that shit all the time. Like straight up. Like I've gotten so many characters adding a hundred shards for someone like me, a mid, like a more mid game player, has been huge, huge. Yeah, it's like right now. I think it's dollar ninety nine for fifty Ghost Rider shards, which is great. oh yeah. You, oh baby, isn't it really? Bad. Oh yeah. yeah. Not, oh so, yeah. So that one, we're actually all the other ones. It makes sense. They're all very farmable, available characters. Yeah, we're actually that one's skeptical great. of the Ghost Rider one because while the uh, Ghost Rider, like the art in the back and the shards show Ghost Rider, everything else says Human Torch. It does say Human Torch. And when you buy it, it even says Human Torch offer. Um, and so, he, so a lot of people have been saying like, oh, well, the, the text is probably just a typo, uh, but it's way harder for them to mess up like which image is on it, but that's not true. So they actually use like string code. So on their end, both the, the plugin name for the text and the, they, it on there and it just looks like, like, you know, whatever, like zero, 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 four, six is ghost rider and zero, 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 five, two is human torch or whatever it is. So they just put those numbers and that tells it which, uh which shard image to show, which shard image to grant, which yeah. splash image to put in the back, all that. So uh, the the going theory is that someone was just thinking Johnny Blaze instead of Johnny Storm and hit the wrong one. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I could totally but, see that happening. But, what, Johnny, but uh, th- th- I, the only reason I think they just messed up, not not like, I don't th- I don't think that because they did Johnny's they did Johnny Storm last night. He, right. So yeah, it's possible that, that this one meant to be Ghost Rider and they put the wrong string code for the wrong. Yeah, they probably just did exactly. Yeah. Here, here's why I'm a little bit suspicious. Every other character that they've done this for, every other two dollar offer has been someone farmable. Every yeah, and one. it's also an old character. Like well, that. That's been my thought too. Is that that's like their older. way of like older, right? And it th- that way they're not really like losing out on anybody buying the bigger offers because those characters aren't as easily ex- as accessible. Yeah. Right. And yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I hope it was on purpose uh, or I hope that it was a happy accident and they realized like, oh, we'll, we'll sell lots of these if we put the unfarmable characters for this price. But I, <laughs> yeah, I, also, I, mean, I also think that with with um, all the people like out of work, uh, you know, I imagine a good amount of people stop spending on the game. Like I I'm fortunate I can still spend a little bit on the game if the donations come in specifically for it. But like I, yeah. I have no extra money for myself to just buy offers if I want. Yeah. So I think that this was also a little bit of a strategy of, uh, you know, adapt, improvise, overcome, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, yeah. Throw out an offer that pretty much no one should be able to refuse. And let's see if, uh, if we can still hit our, you know, our, I'm not a big spender, order. but if I, hit, if I see the ghost rider thing, I mean, you know, uh, you, I don't, I still there. No, no, it's definitely there. Yeah, the early for another... is here at 5 PM, unless it's a multi-day one. No, it's a multi-day one. It's still good. I'm looking at it right now. It's still good for I mean, one that's day. mega worth it. So, so. yeah, Easily. and also they they just had one that was like two million gold for a dollar ninety nine over twenty days, which I thought was pretty uh, yeah, good too. Three bucks. That's pretty good. Something like that. So, yeah, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not normally a proponent of spending because I haven't really spent anything, but I got the gold offer and the go- Ghost Rider offer because like for oh, what, like six, six bucks or something like that. They sound um, like 100%. great microtransactions, right? They yeah, are. what a concept. A concept. I know th- yeah. this is what we've been saying all along is that they should do this. But, but uh, what I always try to remind people is like to us, this seems like common sense, but so what I always just, just to balance the conversation, what I always try to remind people is two things. One, believe it or not uh, as affordable as that is something like, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's somewhere in this neighborhood, something like 90 to 95% of all freemium mobile 
game players will never spend on anything. I know yeah. tons of free to play who didn't get the thousand cores for 99 cents back when they did that. There's just oh, plenty of people, whether they're too young or, uh, you know, they just are, are just barely able to <clears throat> keep food on the table or whatever, or it's just, you know, a matter of principle. They want to exercise self-control, whatever it is. There's yeah. so many p- players that will never spend. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the prices for the offers are literally like very, very, uh, carefully considered to extract the most total money. They have a team of people with PhDs whose entire job is is to send out different offers. And and you'll notice they'll, you can watch them do it in real time. They'll send out like, we'll give 10 of this item for uh, $4.99. We'll give 20 of this item for $7.99. We'll give 30 of this item for $14.99. And they just try all different things and see Um, And they always start with the worst value and they keep taking it down in value. And it gets to a point where no matter how good they make the value, only so many people are going to buy it. So they need to strike that balance of like, what's the most we can charge where enough people still buy it. So I, I would be willing to say like, you would think like, Oh, I, they probably sold like, like almost everyone probably got that one ninety nine offer, but it, if they put it at $30 for that same thing, enough people still would have bought it. And, And if you do the math on that, like, 15, 15 times as many people have to go for the one ninety nine compared to yep. the thirty dollar offer. Yep. So if so if it's only you know ten times as many people bought the one ninety nine, they make more money doing it for thirty dollars. Yeah, makes sense. So that's that's how they do it, and they 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 answer to us in that regard. What you don't realize is anytime you buy an offer, you are voting with your money what you will and won't buy. But of course, that gets confusing when you're like, I didn't buy this offer because the offer was a good value. I bought this offer because there's an event coming up and this is the last thing I needed for the event. And even though, you know, whatever it is, 50 bucks for 30 shards is total garbage. I'm getting a whole nother character and all the rewards of, you know, extra millions of gold from hitting that tier of the event and whatever it is. So as an individual, it might've made sense to buy. And I don't know how well they factor all that in. I I don't think they necessarily understand the timing aspect of some of their offers. Um, For some, sometimes they do. Yeah. For some of them, it's very on purpose, but. Yeah, like the like the fifty shards of or the thirty shards of hydro scientists for like ten dollars. I was like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Not. Oh my god. <laughs> not doing that. But anyway, and I, I also um, like how they put them in the like if you if you hit the find more thing, they put it right there for you. Like I, mean, I kind of I kind of like that they have some certain offers in there that don't show up on the offer section oh, from from there. So I, I, I think it's I, smart marketing, but that's my personal opinion. Yeah. Anyway, what's uh, what's coming up that you guys are excited for? I know for Proxima. me personally, I'm excited for the uh, Black Quarter and the uh, Proxima and all that sort of stuff so i'm kind of curious to see how that all goes uh well i mean in terms of that uh i i i'm still (laughs) like legendary for legendary sucks but i'm so excited for this real-time pvp thing that who knows when we'll see it but i'm really like i i really want that because this game the RNG element going as a computer, it sucks when that happens when you're going as a computer, but I feel like it won't suck as bad when it's just like, oh, that player just beat me. They did they did the right thing. They did the right move. I don't know. I, I'm I'm pretty excited to see how how gameplay changes there in terms of, you know, competitive stuff. Oh, I can tell you it's uh well, I can tell you a little bit about it. And I can also tell you a little bit about <laughs> uh, when to expect it. Um don't know exactly when, but so originally, and I don't know how much it's been derailed from the corona thing, but originally uh, they wanted to start testing it at the end of March. And so um, whenever they do like a, a totally new revision, so we're in patch 3.10, and yeah. I believe the next patch is going to be 4.0. And right. like with 3.0, they brought Alliance War. So with 4.0, our guess is that's bringing live PvP, and we've started seeing more live PvP stuff show up in the data mine. My mm-hmm. guess is that next patch will be live PvP. Again, that's not confirmed. Don't take that as gospel. But everything we've seen thus far kind of points to that. Um, and as for like how it's going to be, obviously predicting another player's moves is going to be a little bit tricky, but the, what I can already tell you is there's going to be a lot of strategy that revolves around the pick band phase. Because Wait, wait there's going to be bands and stuff. Like you're there's, like, not only yeah, is there going to be a pick band phase, like in league, there's going to be a, uh, additionally a reject where you can actually boot someone off the team that they already picked. Whoa. Okay. Yes. That's that's very interesting. Is it gonna be is it gonna be the uh unique picks? Like you can only yes. like only yes. person can black bolt. Once, yes, if I pick black bolt, you can't have them. So uh you'll look at your opponent's roster first to decide mm-hmm. the bands. So 
you know, you, you might like initially be thinking like, I got to ban Captain Marvel, but you might realize like they have an itty bitty Captain Marvel. They have a giant human torch. I need to ban human torch instead. Um, That's awesome. And then, but so what's even crazier is like, you're going to see a lot of people start picking really strong flex picks for PVP because, because the way you're going to alternate picks, you won't be able to throw together as many combos. So like, probably like one person uh, forget who knows how the bands will go, but probably like one person will get yo-yo and the other person will be like, all right, well I have to pick black bolt. So they don't get the yo-yo black bolt combo. Sure. And, and so you're going to see a lot of people like picking characters that you also like, since you won't know exactly who you're going to be putting next to that character, it'll be hard to like, you'll have to pick someone where like, all right, there's at least several good options to be adjacent to this character and still get the function out of them that I want. Like, like if you go with like star Lord, something like that. So yeah, I'm interested to see. There's there's going to be characters that pop up uh, because they work so well with anyone. Um, mm-hmm. And you can only do you think them. they're going to add another currency with the real PvP, or do you think it'll be arena shard stuff? Um, so what they've said is up front, they just want it purely free to play. They just want everyone to enjoy the mode, and the only thing you'll get from it is the fun of PvPing with your friends. And they have said like after a while, and it's established, and it, it works well then they're going to consider what they want to do with it, whether making it like a competitive game mode or, you know, maybe hosting esports tournaments for it or something like that. Like they're, they're going to oh, be wild. Right. Well, so phase one is just uh, rolling it out and making sure everyone has fun with it. And it, it's just for your own entertainment. It doesn't, uh, you won't right. be required to do it. It won't earn you anything. And they actually asked me early on if I would be interested in hosting a live PvP tournament, uh, possibly with like, all, like actual prizes from Marvel and stuff. Hell yeah. Dude, that'd be dope. That yeah, was my dope. Dang, dude. Yeah. So that's I mean, awesome. I'm very much super fun live PvP. But I don't want to just not talk about Black Order. We could got to talk. Oh, about man. It's cool, man. It's cool to see you getting excited about this. And it's good. I mean, that's like the game mode that I think everybody's waiting for. Yep. I and didn't think two, we were two it. years later. Very, yeah. It's very surprising. You, you uh, said two I, years later, but I've been saying for two years, we're never going to see this. Right. I, don't, I don't think we'll ever see it. I, I wonder if like a if like a um a game like Disney Sorcerers Sorcerers Arena which has it out the gate is something pushing them to do that. So mm. I don't know. Does uh Sorcerers Arena have live PvP? They do have live PvP, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not to the extent of what they're doing uh for you know MSF, but you know, they do have the option where you it's it's a, a timer, next next person, you can see them react in real time and choose people. So I'm curious if that is actually the uh the push, you know, to be you know competitive with a another game that's somewhat similar to what they're doing, which is ironically by Disney. So in my opinion. So. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're they're technically uh, now they just license the Marvel IP. They at one, when they were Fox Next, they were owned by Disney. But now that they're with Scopely, again they're they're no longer Disney. Um, but yeah, I mean just just PvP is what sells. Like every every mobile game I've ever played that's had PvP, like the number one motivator of like I want to get stronger, I want to play more. I wanna oh, it's 100. percent I just want to embarrass my friends. So, yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. So, what do you what do you guys think of Black Order? I know we kind of briefly touched on, but I want to, you know, since that's coming out soon ish, like I'm very excited. I'm very excited for it. I'm, I want to know more. I want to see more. I know we have we've seen all the kits from everybody else except for Ebony Maw. So I'm kind of excited to see what did, he brings to the did table. Did you see the blurb about him? I did not see the blurb about him. No. All right, let me read that for you. Um, oh, this is the hot take. Uh, yeah, we, we, we talked about it on a news update and I, I've talked about it on a couple streams, but, uh, it's, it's, if you have not directly tuned into my content, um, what's your name again? <laughs> I go by Casino. <laughs> um, where is it? I think it's All right. You ready? So, uh, so we don't know, uh, like stats or anything, but it's pretty interesting. So here's the blurb. This is from uh, comicbook.com. Uh, Ebony Maw is the Black Order's dark sorcerer that specializes in buffing his allies while weakening his enemies. Ebony Maw gains defense up and applies it to all enemies. He also steals portions of the enemy's health and gives it to allied Black Order members and Thanos. Passively, whenever a hero controller dies, Ebony Maw applies barrier to all allies and gains charge. On the next enemy turn, he'll ability block all enemy hero controller wow. and lose charge. Ooh. His special gains counter to himself, Black Order allies, and ally Thanos. And uh, here's the one that excites me the most. His ultimate lowers the enemy speed bar and fills allies' speed bars. Holy shit. Nice. Yeah. All right. Dirty. Uh, so everyone that starts sucks. saving your gold. Yeah, he's going to hard counter Phoenix um, because, uh, yeah, when an enemy... Uh, hero controller dies 
everyone gets barrier. So as soon as Dark Phoenix shows up, she just hits right. the barrier. And yep. then uh, as soon as an enemy takes a turn, she'll get ability blocked. Whether it's her or someone else, she just doesn't even get to use her special. Dude, that is going to completely change the meta of Rena to... Yeah. But the thing that the only thing that sucks about I, I don't care if it changing war because here's the thing, when the meta of war changes, I don't have to care as much because I know that there's going to be a, a good majority of my alliance that will be able to take care of that. You know what I mean? But when it changes arena, like I'm just finally starting to get a good uh, place in arena. Like now that I have a six red star Captain Marvel, six red star Phoenix, I'm finally starting to climb arena well, right? But like the second that gets introduced in arena, I'm I'm my climb will be. Like, I don't know, going. man. Like I, I, I was actually just gonna say this, but like, how much of the player base do you think is actually gonna be able to get this? Because not a lot of people have a five star Karnak and uh, and human team. one crystal. Yeah, like, team, I, right? I don't know. Crystal like, or yo yo, those are the three. Yeah, I mean, I just don't see it being an issue for at least. I mean, I, I don't know, like how many whales are in your shard, but right. you know, there's right. I, I, well, I have they, nothing but whales in my shard. Yo, oh, yeah, you and I <laughs> are screwed for sure. Um, but yes, well, so, so, uh, yeah, it, it, exactly that. Um, there's, um, uh, there's some interesting aspects of it for sure. Um, but so, uh, specifically like how much is going to impact your arena shard. There's a few factors. You don't know how many whales are on your shard. And generally speaking, they, they do arena shards by like how long you've been playing. So, uh, oh. like you're, you're not against a bunch of day one players or, even even if they were free to play, day one players are far enough ahead of you that it right. wouldn't really be competitive. So they try to basically like segregate you guys and then let the spenders rise to the top in their arena yeah. shards. That's just like kind of their reward for being spenders. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so I don't think you'll see too many. But uh, as for okay, how many, that's not so bad. As for how many people are going to get Ebony Maw, um, they all legendary releases are pretty rare at first. So approximately how many. If you just, uh, Black Bolt is a bad example, but forgetting Black Bolt, if you look at every other legendary, approximately however many of those you first saw start popping up, it's generally a lot of the same people that are spending to maintain about that level that are going to get this one. Um, and I know a handful of free-to-play players who are going to get Black Bolt on this pass, so it's probably going to be about the same amount of people who are going to get Ebony Maw. We don't know. Go ahead. We don't. Oh, that's you? No, no yeah, yeah. I'm, saying I'm in that. I'm in that category. He just raises his hand to ask a question. It's like, excuse me, sir, uh, oh! teacher, teacher. <laughs> I was being an um, no, sorry. Uh, but no, congrats. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, so there's another free to play player getting Black Bolt, and uh, so there there are going to be them. So we don't know how farmable they're going to make two of the three of Crystal Karnak and Yo Yo. All we know is on their dev blog they said they'll be making them more available to help with your recruitment efforts. Like uh, Black Bolt was is is assumed to be the major hiccup and uh, you know the fact that some free-to-play players are going to get him means plenty of spenders are so we'll see what they do with the other one. i don't hate it right because that because when for the longest time like myself i mean i, I say i'm free to play dude i spent maybe like a hundred dollars in this game in the first year that six months that it came out and i kind of see that if there's nothing for me to work towards as a free to play player then i get bored real fast right and so i kind of like the fact that i'm not going to get ebony mod first i mean it sucks because i got a six red thanos but like at least that's something for me to work towards right so yeah, yeah it sucks and i'm gonna get my ass clapped by you know plenty of those kind of teams but eh, it is what it is it'll so, I'll, I'll get it the second time around so no, uh, no. this is the same thing for me with um magneto like i didn't ha i didn't get magneto the first time or the second time he came around i got him around you know when once pyro and Sabretooth were farmable so i'm in this, i'm in the same boat uh, i mean i'll i will be i i spent some money to get black bolt like i won't lie about that but i'm curious about do you think it's gonna is, is it just four humans plus black bolt so like karnak for me is is i didn't buy his offers i just did the blitzes so he's only four star for me but my ms marvel is, is seven stars do you think I should be fine then at that point, right? Uh, well, so everyone is assuming that you're going to have Miss Marvel and Quake. Uh, yeah. Everyone should be fine on those. Th those shouldn't be the ones holding back. And then you have to have Black Bolt, but you have Black yeah. Bolt. So I like Black I said, Bolt. it's it's going to come down to two of the three. There's Karnak, there's Yo-Yo and Crystal. We need two of the three to be reasonably farmable. And yeah. my guess is that they will make two of the three reasonably farmable. Like we know we're getting some new Nexus content and we have until the Ooh. end of May. Yeah, I think there's two new that. chapters of Nexus coming. Um, cool. This, I mean, I yeah, I mean, it, it, we've had like waiting for chapter eight forever now. Yep. 
But we yeah. they they said in a devlog they're doing it in order. So they did hero, and we got the new heroes chapter. They said villains, we got the new villains chapter. Next is Nexus. And again, I think it's two Nexus chapters, but uh just to recap real quick, because I, I forgot, and I don't know this is the white claw talking, the making me forget. <laughs> how do no, you unlock Black Bolt head. Head. How do you unlock Black Bolt again? Um he Five is, Asgardians. Asgardians. Yeah, Asgardians. Thank you so much. I okay, forgot Momentarily. Just been, it's just the white claw absorbing through the screen into the squad cast right to you. So wow. um, I didn't get a lot of sleep. Uh, it's a long story. I don't know if yeah, that's did, why it, I did it involve Walmart and cables? No. <laughs> <laughs> it involved a very early tierless stream after a very late night of Super War. Ooh, that sounds like a fun. We should fun uh, well, I, I, I would say we should squad. We should like. Well, we can't squad stream, but we should like co-stream Super so you know, War. Okay, but apparently, he, I'm only partner. Pod. He can, but I can. I'm not a partner. So. No, you can. Super, you, you just need I'm one person. Excited. Oh, yeah, too bad yeah, I only feel against bots. So, were you a, were you I, a I, league I, guy? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, so, you know, I'm league well, I'll actually, I actually still have a league account with all the skins. Nice with all the oh, skins. Should, yeah, you should uh, listen to the next regular podcast because we had my cousin on who works at Riot Games. Oh, him, so him, him have me on any time. I, I have a bunch of friends at Riot from my many years playing League. I actually, uh, if anyone uh, is super serious about being a League content creator, the girl who used to co-host my stream with me is now the head of their partnerships. Their, their oh, whoa, that's amazing. Yeah. Dang. It's funny. Yeah, that's I actually a small room. I got friends right. I used to have a, a like five Riot uh, devs on my buddy list at one point. But. Yeah. You're a cool dude. You know, for those who don't know, uh, uh, Casito tried to help me get a job once. It was really, it was really sweet of him. Try to help if I can. No reason not to. He's a sweet yeah. man. Uh, anyway, moving moving on uh, for love it and hate it, where we talk about one thing we love about the game, one thing we hate about the game. Uh, since we always talk about what we hate about the game and love about the game, we ask our guests what they love and hate about the game. So, Casino, what's one thing you love about the game right now? Um, I mean, there's a lot, but the the feature I want to highlight and say that I love. Um, I would say their generosity right now. They have been uh, taking a lot of advice from the player base. Like I feel like the the anger of the uh, fix MSF movement kind of died down. They, they've kind of been in the clear for the most part for a while, and they didn't have to spoil everyone with the anniversary event, but we've been calling for it just like as a, hey, you want people to celebrate your game still being around. You, there's no reason not to just give people a windfall of free stuff and make everyone happy. So I'd say like the anniversary events have been really really good i'm glad they stepped it up so they, they've just been more generous uh just just to be nice so i want to yeah, encourage the, that behavior yeah the two million gold in the in the in-game mail was a nice surprise was not expecting that yeah there's a lot of good stuff there's t4s um you think bunch, about a bunch of cores too yes yeah, 740 yeah. or something something like that. 720 cores yeah, that, something like that that's actually an interesting <sighs> point i uh i like that the the you're saying that they it kind of, they're kind of acknowledging what we're saying and complaining about, and they're actually trying to reward us. Cause I think when we talked with Valley, we were all commenting on the fact that like the first anniversary event, which, you know, was like crap. I think they were like, Hey, yeah. here's the anniversary <laughs> event. Give us $20 or $50. And then you get some good stuff. And that just felt scummy. And every other game I've ever played, because I've been playing mobile games for like six, seven years. It's like the anniversary events are dope. Like they're just, yeah. fire man like you get so much like you were saying you just get a bunch of good shit it makes you like it kind of like reinvigorates you in a sense it makes you like yeah. excited about what's to come and um yeah th this was actually a pretty good event i will say yeah you're right yep uh, and that's literally verbatim what what me and valley said as well as yeah other games anniversary events are always like always like oh yeah anniversary's coming up this is gonna be good and then in this game it was like oh thanks for like the premium orb Whatever. yeah um, yeah um, yeah um, man, thanks for the offers yeah, 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 I think yeah. the anniversary <laughs> offers. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that, guys. So gracious. Yep. So, uh, oh, yeah. So what's the hate? The uh, hate right now. What's uh, the shade you're gonna throw down? Uh, I'm gonna call them out for, and and I I actually know a little bit into the background of why this is, but holy crap, there are bugs everywhere. Dude, right. I feel like right yeah. now it's especially bad. They need to hire uh, an exterminator at Fox News <laughs> because they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's. I feel like it's especially your, bad right now. What's the bug that? What's your biggest pet peeve of all the bugs? Um. Well, I'm not thrilled about the milestones bugging, preventing me from getting my cyclops. Me neither. Yeah. Four, yeah. I can yeah. Really four, four of uh four of our community questions were asking you about. Do you know any about this specific bug fix? This yeah. specific bug. <laughs> I swear to God. Yep. I I'm, I might. I'll see. But uh, yeah. I'm I'm not thrilled with the the milestone bugs. Those are annoying. Um. What was another one? Uh, the sound one is the one that gets me. I I don't know why. It just really bothers me. That one's played this with sound. 
yeah there's times where like the sound just oh i'll wow, get out of here you I've never played this game with sound ever. I don't. I don't either. Oh, it bothers me. Whatever you guys. I don't no, it, no, it, it is a true gripe because if you want, that's the thing. I don't want to hear the sound just because I play it at full speed, which I'm sure a lot of us do. But regardless, I don't want to hear the like the fast like annoyingness. But like, if you want the full experience and you like that and you want the sound, of course, I would be annoyed by that. I'm not blaming you in any way by being annoyed. By I that. like it. I don't know, yeah. man. Maybe whatever. Uh, I'm a fucking nerd. I don't care. I'm oh, dude. it's fine. I Dom just, dropped it three minutes in, so you're gonna three like minutes in. Three minutes in. Yeah. We tried to curse anymore, Casino. That's our thing, or at least say the f word. We, I I got, we got called out for no. You're good. You're you're you've been fantastic. No. Okay. It's Dom and I are the ones that drop f bombs like it's going out of style. And let me let me tell you something. All right. Yeah. yeah I live in yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn. Uh-huh. I I drink. Oh, you're from Brooklyn now. Are you from Baltimore or Brooklyn now? I'm a chef. Shut I I live in a kitchen. Shut up. Like the f word is like a shut conjunction, up. man. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying it's been pure luck and coincidence that I haven't cussed yet because uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's, I normally do. Well, if, if we keep yeah. talking about red stars, do you think that'll it'll accelerate the process? There? Oh, fuck red stars. Anyway, ah, ah there we go. Yeah. <laughs> You're happy now. There we go. You had to trigger me. <laughs> <laughs> so good uh, yeah i, I mean this other... wouldn't be the real episode if we didn't all drop an f-bomb right yeah, I mean, charlie do it so, charlie yeah, do on. it do it do it i have to remember for next time i'm just gonna sneak random cusses into sentences where they don't belong just to give vash a headache with the editing very tactful very tactful i like it Fuck. Oh. There you go. There we go. I, already, I think i'm pretty sure i said it once yeah, before just gonna uh, cut anyway the, uh, <laughs> there's, yeah there's other bugs too like falcon special crash in the game i uh, love that one the banner bug yeah right yeah yeah, I put a I put my Falcon on Arena D just for that. Um, and that I mean, that's kind of scummy to do, but hey, you oh know, my work god, what you got. oh my god, you know what? I want to really ask now. you a question, Casino, because I know you're a techie guy. Uh, when Valley was on the other day, we were talking about all this kind of. Or I think we were on the same question. At some point in time, he said one of his biggest gripes to the game is the save squads, right? Mm-hmm. And I have like a little bit of experience in web devving. Like I'm not great at anything like that. My thought was like maybe, and I wanted you to say whether or not you think this is any were accurate or not but i thought it was maybe like a data issue because like for me i don't think it's that complicating to extend the amount of teams they could have but my defense was that there are so many people in the game that maybe they don't have the infrastructure to like handle that extra data and so, i don't know that was just my thought so you've opened a can of worms here um okay. i i <laughs> excellent, I've, excellent. I've already talked uh, at length about this so i'm i'm okay i'm prepared for this i'll try to keep it concise um the first thing is I, of all the things that I am constantly harassing them about, I would say save squads are probably the number one thing where I am regularly like, what are you guys doing? Everyone needs more save squads and the handful of people that don't, it's only a matter of time before they do. You keep adding more characters. This is preposterous. We need more save squads. I've been saying this for months and months. So I very much want to know what the heck is going on. I have gotten answers and you have to remember, I talked to some people in a quote unquote un- official capacity. And I talked to other people on a not so official capacity and I've gotten different uh, responses to why we don't have more safe squads yet. And I, I would assume someone is not being truthful. I don't know who. Uh, so I will, tell you, <laughs> I will tell you the multiple things I've heard, uh, but I don't find any of them compelling. But so one of the responses was it's a big technical nightmare. We need to make sure that we can implement it without it breaking everything. I, I don't see that. I find that hard to believe, but if you look at how many things are broken just right now, if they say they're worried maybe it's not a hard if they're, they're worried <laughs> oh about God. actively breaking things, I yeah. maybe. And the other thing I'll say is this game has been worked on by so many people. Like there was a whole nother company that helped develop this game and then maintain it for the first year. So plenty of things were coded by people who are no longer around. And it takes someone else a long time to jump in and interpret what they're even yeah. looking at. And I, I will also say, you'd be surprised how often two things that should be totally unrelated are somehow tied to one another. Uh, a perfect example, and I don't know that these two are, but just to, to give an example, you'd think that like equipping an item in your roster would have nothing to do with like arena character positioning. But for some reason, things like that always come out as like, well, they actually are kind of tied because they reference the same type of data when identifying a character. And if we change the formatting of the decimals in this area, it changes the formatting of decimals in that area also. And then that all breaks, whatever it is. Right. So it, it's, it is possible that it's a big technical headache. That said, 
uh, I feel like any professional game studio should be up to the challenge of figuring this out. And right. the fact that it's not already at the very least being like a top priority to be worked on means I don't think they're taking it seriously enough. So it could be that. What well, I you know, we had this conversation with Charlie's cousin, who is a, a back end engineer on uh, of uh, Legends of Ruterra. And I asked him, I was like, hey, man, like, what is your just your team like on Runeterra? And it's like 100 people. And then I was like, man, it is there's a lot of perspective there, considering the fact that what Fox Next, then who knows what Scopely has, but Fox Next has like 12 people total. Uh, right? Like that number. Wasn't that a, a thing that was put out like not too long ago? Oh, there's only like no. 12 to like 20 people. How big, how oh, big is their wow. team? Uh, so I, Oh God, don't tell me this. Cause that's the only defense I've ever given that's them. That's the only defense it. he has, dude. You've been no, so defending no. him by saying that. That's no, they have a lot more than 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is great. I've, <laughs> sorry. Those I, bastards. I'll be sorry. This is so good. Man. This, no, this I, and the super war thing is so good right now. So I've gotten a, a Fuck you. I've gotten a few different <laughs> numbers and I've been there in person to see. Um, when I go there in person, I've seen, like roughly like 80 to 100 people and Dude, what are they okay what the fuck like well, what? Well, we'll, get no. to we'll get to that um <laughs> now now that said fox next makes more than one game so uh i don't know how many of those people are solely working on marvel strike force stuff but a good a good amount of them are definitely primarily working on marvel strike force stuff um and the a different number i got from a, on a different day was ballpark 200 now what I will say is uh, it depends. They, they also contract out for stuff. So like a, a perfect example is like some of their quality assurance is like a group, a team of people in another country answering to a, I presume, a smaller team of people here. So whether those people are, are counted as people who work on the game, I'm not sure. But again, I, I've seen 80 to 100 probably. Um but but even that, like you have to remember, they have so many people doing so many things. Like it's it's a pretty big game, uh, so I think that's the minimum. But yeah, they 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 do some sloppy stuff for sure. The other thing though, and the the main thing that uh, causes a lot of the headaches we see is they they are really big on their live ops more than any other game. They try to make real time changes and pump out new stuff on a near daily basis, like every week has something brand new pushed live, whether it's a blitz that hasn't occurred before or some new milestone event. They are just constantly flinging new stuff with new items and all that. And so it causes a lot of the the mess, so to speak, um, because they just love doing tons and tons of new stuff on a near daily basis. So, so you're saying they just, they're just they not really big fans of like testing things out and staging well, it and then pushing it later. They, they are. But so the first thing is like they have, they, they keep a really crazy pace. So they have really strict deadlines and they try to get stuff out. Um, so, so the, like there's different ways in which you can test stuff. So like a perfect example is like they have a very structured uh, group of people who test the, uh, who test the client, right? So if they're making changes that like, even when you're offline, certain buttons need to function when you press them and things like that. Um, like a lot of the combat happens on your end on the phone and things like that. And so uh, they can get most of the bugs out of that. And again, they can only test it on so many devices. There's always someone who's like, Oh, I have, you know, this uh, specialty phone I got in India that is having this graphical issue or whatever it is. There's all that. But then when they like so much of the content is live and when they push new stuff live, it collides with the new client. And a lot of it is like the guy who designed this live event, originally designed it for last patch and now that they've made changes with the new patch when they push it live it didn't occur to anyone that some of the formatting for that was made to perfectly slot into the old patch and because they mm. decided oh let's do it next week instead some other change they made to the client now it doesn't fit and it causes issues so i mean uh, there's that and but at the end of the day like they obviously just screw up a lot too um i, yeah. I talked to a dev uh, a while back and he he's a uh, no longer with them, but he would regularly say like, they just have very little coding discipline. They're sloppy. They, they don't take good notes and uh, no they're not consistent with stuff. He would just regularly be like, I, I have been begging them to implement some measures to prevent a lot of this crap. Like so much of this crap is preventable and they, they just wing it. But uh, the other reason why I think that they don't mind making as many bugs is because uh, it's the point now where like, it doesn't bother the players at all. Like, we, we all know there's so many bugs, but 
they at least took my advice on one thing, which is shower us with compensation. And then you have people cheering for bugs instead of. (laughs) (laughs) That's a, that's a pretty valid point actually. So I don't think they're as worried like, Oh yeah. So we had three more bugs. All right. Well, the players will be thrilled. That's fine. Yeah, totally. So, all right, so we're gonna do move on, uh, move us along oh, wait, to. Wait, wait, I wanted to. Th- I want to say the other thing that I've heard for why we don't have safe squads. Oh yes, oh, please. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay, oh yes, yes. The other reason uh, that I've heard is that they have a lot of their data storage on external servers that they pay for, and that the amount of extra uh, data would be would be a significant increase in cost per player. Um, that's I, literally like what I was thinking because. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but I also know that uh, back when I was hosting a website for my League of Legends stream, uh, the I had like a, a tiny little database and you could get like hundreds of terabytes of data for next to nothing. So I find it very hard to believe. Uh, there's no way it could be that significant of a cost. Right. Even if they have a million players, there's right. no way. It's like they, they made $150 million dollars in their first year, they can afford the tiny bit of added cost, and it, this is just a um, this is just a service I feel they should be providing. So I don't know how true that yeah. is either, but uh, I'm I'm also un- that was my guess. I don't know. It's great. Yeah, it just seems it seems like a lot of like uh, it's excuses and not a lot of fo- or maybe it's just a simplification of what they're trying to deal with. But anyway, who knows? Uh, anyway, moving on uh, <laughs> to Red Stars. What did you guys pull for Red Stars this week? Anything fun? I didn't pull anything because I'm hoarding. Just, uh, just got orbs. a five red star at Magneto, so that was fun. <laughs> oh, no, but oh, I, I didn't pull a... that. I just, I just, I, yeah, I really hard. Oh, Let's like, see. So I opened up myself for that one. I opened up three elite four stars, got all dupes. Opened up a five star, got a shield trooper, and then I pulled a four star Sith last night. So, uh, you know, nice hot fire over here. Nice. True. Anything really. fun, Casino? Um, I'm, I don't, I don't think it was in the last week. I got a good pull pretty recently. Um, but I think this week it was just a four red star Proxima. Excuse me. It was the only, oh, I, got, I, got, I got a crap ton of dupes. I got a, I just got a five red star dupe. I don't remember who the other day. Um, yeah, but it's mo- mo- was it dupes. miles back to back to back to back? Cause that's the last four, five, that's the last four. Five red star. Dude, that must have been like a statistical pulled. anomaly. I've never heard you did. that before. You got four yep. duplicate fives of the same character. The last, the last. So there was one stream that I did where I pulled. Uh, I had two four red star elite orbs and two five red star elite orbs. I pulled two night nurses and two miles. And then after that, I pulled. I've had three additional five red star elite orbs. I pulled two of the five. Two of the three have been miles. That's brutal. So. At least it's uh, at least it's going towards my uh, elite five star. Um, true. At least it's not backwards. Uh, true progression. True, true, so, true. Like there was years years ago. Well, just just to, to liven it up, uh, I, I again it was probably a little bit more than a week ago, but I got a six red star venom recently, which I'm very happy uh, about. Ooh. I've already had six red star symbiote Spider Man, and my carnage has been at five. So that that yeah. trio is just awesome. Yeah, I'm that looking for that it. powerhouse team. Yeah, I'm I'm loving that team because I have a six red star carnage and I I love oh, that team. Please. It's 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 so so good. Actually, that was my one of my first six red stars was carnage, I think. But um, anyway, well, what do you have for a team advice for team or war advice for us or anybody listening or anybody watching right now on our Twitch? Uh, I got lots of war advice. Any any do, just do like one quick team because we have a lot of questions to get to. So um, let's see. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is uh, I hope everyone is uh, able to get sufficient. Oh, red skull counter. All right. Perfect. Someone said in chat. Um, so dealing with red skull, obviously if you have the inhumans, the inhumans hard counter uh, red skull hydra teams, that's just what they're built for. Black bolts, passive hitting villain tech and then preventing them from being revived. Just completely right. dismantles them in the absence of black bolt, which is a lot of people's situation. The couple of things we've been hearing that works the best, not necessarily the only thing that works, but the, the two or three things I've been hearing works the best. Um, Defenders uh, can comfortably punch down a lot of times anyway, uh, like 100k. <laughs> Charlie, uh, Charlie shaking his head. <laughs> I've, I've done 150k punch down. Doesn't work. Uh, well, I've I've seen those fail. I've me. seen them it's succeed. Well, it's, it's, it's a it's a little bit of RNG. Uh, you need yeah. like Iron Fist procs and stuff, and it depends yeah. on who's strong on their team too. If they focus out your Punisher, you're in for a rough time. Um, yep. it, it, a lot of it has to do with uh, who gets the Red Skull ult as well. 
Um, but uh, so then uh, slightly more uh, reliable than that is Aimtron, which is just putting Ultron in place of Aim Monstrosity on an Aim team. The Aim debuffs kind of temper them, and then Ultron just continues like ult zapping them. Um, right. They can steal good buffs and death proof from them. And then the third thing that uh, again works pretty well, and again, we're talking like in, if, if you really want to cut it close, like a 50k punch down, more comfortable 80 to 100k punch down. Um, is the BKT team because they right. heal so much off of killing people and they're very bursty. I, didn't think of that. Yeah. I, I think that's something that needs to be said about any type of um, counters in this game. And I think people need to realize this. And this comes into this is in relation to what you just said in relation to war counter bots. Any, any guide out there now is this is literally player to player. Some of these are 100%. Like in humans, I would assume if you're like if you had them up, it's almost hundred percent win. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Whatever it is, but these are still mostly player to player interactions, right? Uh, are, are based by uh, case by case, player by player. RNG obviously is a huge deal. It depends on what your T fours are, et cetera, et cetera. So like, yeah, ob- like you know, homeboy in chat, defenders away lost 100, 120k punch down. It is case by case. It really is a lot of times. So that's that's why these are all suggestions. These are what may work. Obviously, this like defenders may statistically work in a punch down more so over than goddamn I don't know hand. You know what I mean? Like yeah. right, like. Yep. But yeah, there's there's a combination. So first off, there's just in fight RNG. Like sometimes things go really well. You know how often your Iron Fist is proking uh, his passive anyway. How you know who they're focusing out? Uh, what room is it in? Do you right, exactly. still have your hanger deflects up? Do they still have right. boosts on where they have a bunch of deflects? Um, there, there is a lot of RNG. You know, is it in security where everyone's defense down? There's, there, yeah, there's true. all that randomness. And then there's who's strong and who's weak on your team. Is your defenders um, a medium sized Punisher giant Luke Cage because you're not going right. to kill them? Fast. Exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, there's there there are a lot of factors, which is why we estimate. And it's but so I, I always try to give the safe estimation. So when I'm saying like you're. 100k punch down is pretty safe. Uh, yeah, it's not it's not 100% win rate because things can still just go terribly. Exactly. But yeah, it's pretty safe. That said, I'll see people send me screenshots of like, boom, 50k punch down with defenders, and it's like I'm, I'm not saying that can't be done. I'm not saying you didn't yeah. do it. I see your picture. Right. I believe that you did it. I don't want to tell other people to try to do this because that required more luck than they should expect. So, so I'm gonna let's go, let's move on to. I have we have a lot of questions. We're gonna try to keep these answers short and sweet just because of how many there are and if if any of these questions were answered while we're talking i know we've been talking for an hour, like over an hour but if it sounds familiar like we'll just we'll we mentioned it in chat so or we mentioned it while we we're talking guys so don't don't crucify us here uh so the first one uh what is this hotchner uh hotchner's Hotchner. headshot yep. yeah uh Casino, have you seen any footage of the full Black Order team? If so, are they really the new arena meta? Uh, have not seen footage of the new Black Order team, but uh, I'll say this: Fox Next has only ever described the team as being the best for their job and not delivered on it once. Um, they normally Wakanda. It, right, Wakanda being the the time that they really fell short. Every other time, they've nailed it. And uh, so, what we're kind of excuse me waiting to see is. Do you need the full team or will they, will there be like a, just a Thanos Ebony Maw power couple hybrid that will work? Maybe something like that. Um, Cause a lot of times it's been hybrids. Like with Phoenix, it was for a while, just Phoenix Colossus. Now it's just right. Phoenix and with the Inhumans there to dethrone them. Now it's just Black Bolt Yo-Yo. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, have, have right. seen footage, but I, they, they don't usually miss the mark on this. Like I, I wouldn't expect Ebony Maw to just miss the mark and be like, Oh no, actually they kind of suck. I'd be shocked yeah. if that were the case. True. Uh, BC Discman, how long do you think it will be until the low graphics Falcon crash gets fixed? Um, I know that they're aware of it and they're trying to fix it. Uh, I'm going to say inside of a week. Um, it, I would say at latest, and I, I doubt it, but I don't know, at latest till 4.0, which is going to be around True. the beginning of May. But uh, yeah. they'll probably try to put out an, another client before then that fixes it. Yeah. Uh, Whopper Jaw, can the America Chavez bug be discussed? It is still present in DD3, even if the heal is only visual. I thought that they fixed this, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I don't I don't know why he's saying uh, that it's visual. So so what, what you're seeing um, is uh, America Chavez 
gives hero brawlers more max health, but she does it actively. Like as soon as she shows right. up, they get more max health. So right. what it was doing before was it was adding that max health and filling it. She would just add, uh, I forget what is it, 20% max health, but it would come with the full amount of health when it got added in. And uh, so now she still adds the capacity for the health, but she doesn't assume to fill up the bar. Yeah. So I don't think they're getting a heal. They're just getting the capacity right. for it. And then uh, other other hero brawlers can heal it up. Uh, so like right. Marvel can then heal it. I forget if there's Iron Fist there. They can heal the city heroes. Right. But, T- De- Deadpool kind of heals if he has a debuff or, yeah. Um, but so what is this? Uh, CM healing Captain America? That doesn't even make sense. But yeah, why would Captain Marvel heal Captain America? She doesn't. That's Yeah, that's probably just a weird... Maybe it's a visual bug or something. I'm I, not there sure. are some visual bugs in DD3. So I, I saw a weird one. Um, so there, I do believe there's some weird visual ones, but uh, yeah, uh, with this stuff, it's mostly visual, but I, I have one that I recorded several times, which is uh, there's two iron fists on node seven and they mm-hmm. both heal each other passively. The one that drops down second. So the first one drops down and does his passive heal. The second one then drops down and does his passive heal. And he is visually only getting the first passive heal. And then when you damage him, his health adjusts to what it should be where he got the second, the, the passive heal that proc before he dropped down. Oh, Jesus. So I'm actually Phoenix ulting him and watching his health bar go up. <laughs> um, oh, God. Yeah, it's really weird looking. So That's got to be the um, worst. Super Saiyan Ben, what's the ETA on this damn downloading bug, uh, this plaguing Blitz fights? Real quick, everyone, a lot of these questions are bug related. It's. It, I feel like a lot of the answers are going to be the same. They're aware of it. Hopefully they'll fix it within a week. If not, we're looking probably May, but continue answering probably what that was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know when when they, you know, I'm never the guy to ask about like, when is this bug? Right. Unless I might've read a a dev blog or a a comment from Cerebro saying we will have this fixed out by this date. But if you want to follow that, I have a channel on my discord server called, uh, I think uh, game news. Right. Yeah. Yeah, That's it. That's that, where we pull of our stuff from your, your server too. That just immediately updates whenever Cerebro or Zeeks make any kind of post or comment on Reddit, which is almost always the first place that they'll update people. They also post stuff on the Twitter and the dev blog, so you can keep an eye on those. But yeah. So uh, enig- 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 Enigma, Enigmatic Squire, I'm sorry, whatever this is. Enigmatic Squire, what's the most efficient, effective team for the first three nodes of Hero 7? Uh, I don't remember what even the requirements for the first three nodes of Hero 7 are. Hero 7 is... Watch my phone die. Uh, Hero 7 is... Is it City? It might be. It might be. I can't even do it because I'm, I'm all out of... Uh, uh, I can take a look. I have my, oh, I only have my Hero group. City characters, yes. So, I mean, you know, a good Defenders team. Um. A good defenders team will probably do worse than some of the other new top tier city characters. I mean, a strong enough defenders will eventually do it, but um, that's well, what I did it with. Uh, yeah, again, I'm I'm sure defenders can do it up to a point, but uh, oh, Spider Verse, yeah, sure, well, you know, Spider Verse with Ms. Marvel eh, would work with Ghost Rider, maybe too. I'm gonna yeah. look real quick. Right, Ghost Rider is the one that comes to mind. I'm thinking like Ghost Rider and Symbiote Spider Man just as a couple are probably really strong because uh, uh, Symbiote Spider Man can heal himself. And Ghost yeah. Rider's output is just terrific. Um, and then from there, uh, off the top of my head, again, I'd have to look at my city heroes, but probably just three members of the defenders that can protect and sustain. So maybe something like right. Luke Cage. And and if you did do Ghost Rider, Symbiote, Spider-Man, you have a brawler team, so you could go Miss Marvel for backup healing. Yeah, sure. I'll check right now. Um, oh, yeah, well, I'll wait for that. Sorry. I got it. I got it right here. So, yeah, okay. So it's mostly everyone we've talked about. So if they have a lot of villains, maybe bring Punisher. But I... Off the top of my head, I'm going to say Symbiote, Spider-Man, Ghost Rider, um, Miss Marvel, Luke Cage, and let's go Iron Fist because he can heal and he's a hero brawler. And you could put JJ on there if you need more uh, debuff. Yeah. Uh, Sylviog in 1990, any rumors about the Red Star Flash of uh, yeah Red Star Flash events and its rewards? Um. So we did get a, an interesting kind of rumor about it. Uh, we know that the rewards will be silver and gold promo credits at the highest levels. We don't know how many of each, but uh, in the original devlog where they said they're going to be giving out more gold promo credits, they said the primary source of gold promo credits would be that Wakanda flash event. So yeah. I'm going to get right straight to the final level. We do know that um, the first four stages are only going to require four Wakandans because you can't have Shuri below five star. The, 
interesting one that we just heard. A lot of people have been asking, hey, whenever these come out, we always get three tokens for it at once. So even if we have seven Star Wakandans, are we only going to be able to do stage one, two, three, and then just be sitting around waiting for it to come back around? And n- there wasn't an official answer given, but Cerebro basically said, we're, we're looking at this and we're going we're gonna to explore if we have some options here, meaning that there's the possibility that they will give us extra for the first pass of it because every other flash event has been recurring since we started the game and it's made sense that like your first venture into it you're not supposed to be like ah i need to get all the way to the end like you probably can only handle the first three or four if that so this play might give us enough just on the first pass to to get to the end Um, yeah so that'd be cool yeah i've been i've been farming my wakandans to get to that point in the event that that's the case because the only person who i have left to seven star is okoye and she's uh 200 shard shy of seven stars so i've been farming pretty hardcore to get her up to speed so hopefully yeah. if so even if they don't even if it's only the first three uh, at least i'm still ready for it whenever it comes back around Nice. This uh, this next one I feel like is in a lot of people's mind with the, with recently with recent events is uh, BC Discman. Do any of you believe the it takes a legendary to get a legendary mechanic will be the new norm or just a one off? I think it's going to be a new norm. To be completely honest, I mean, if it's been around for if the game's been around for two years at this point, there's only so many without adding extra minions or any other teams or anything else. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if there'll ever be a, a five legendaries for like a Doctor Doom type stuff, but you know, I could be wrong. But I don't know. I feel like it's probably going to come back around for other legendaries. I don't know. Yeah, maybe what not as like consistent as every new character. It's going to be a legendary unlock, but it's definitely not going to go away, to say the least. Yeah, that that's exactly my answer. Is uh, you know, is is every legendary from now on going to require at least one legendary? Probably not. But the, their philosophy on Legendaries has always been, what are the five characters that the largest majority of the player base are the least likely to have ready to go? What is going to generate the most panic farming, the most offer buying, all that? So, yeah. Um, and, and someone just made a comment in chat. Galaxy, yeah. Every other gacha game is, and people have trouble believing this, but every other gacha game I've ever seen or heard of is actually way meaner with this. They'll, they'll do Legendary events on like three days notice. They'll yep. require the galaxy heroes is a literal shit show. Like oh, how I would play that I, game is beyond me. I was in it when they were doing the whole Revan thing and oh, Revan that, killed that, the game, right? It I was, mean, well, yes and no. I mean, they, they basically made it so that you needed, uh, a, like a crazy amount of stuff to get Malik. And they literally sprung it on people like Cena was saying, and it just caused people to have to <laughs> basically spend like a fat amount of money in order to get Jesus. him. And he was just like insanely game breaking. And yeah, you didn't even have time it. to panic farm. You literally just yeah. like the only way you could get him is if you either were already ready, which was a very slim amount of people. And it definitely, <laughs> they lost a lot of people off of that right there. Yeah, that's the, I think that's what we'll see is it's, it's going to be maybe not as consistent, but it will, it will still be there. Um, the, the puppies pu- sorry go ahead i was just the, the average cost of like a, a legendary t- tier character in other gacha games is like 800 dollars. even if you're a, an advanced player that's pretty common and a yeah. lot of the asian gacha games they'll they'll have two thousand and three thousand dollar legendary characters without batting an eye jesus yeah Lord. so so people complain that there's a pay to win aspect of legendary characters which there is but uh believe it or not comparatively, right? comparatively they're very generous um but so I, I think they're going to continue to try to make them very rare. And yeah, the, one of the issues is everyone feels entitled to get a legendary character on the first pass. And like the whole point of a legendary character, more, more important than being overpowered is being rare. Like that's their whole purpose. So it took me every year to get Phoenix and they like it that way, but, but uh, yeah, good to have her, doesn't it? Oh, so good. And six red star. Wouldn't Let's go. go. Got her in two days. Yeah, exactly. Uh, puppies, welcome. Uh, what will the what will be the cost associated with PV mode? E.g., blitz charges, arena tokens, cores, energy. Uh, you just know they're going to monetize somehow. Uh, no, they yeah, anyway. they they've specifically said they want it to be a free to play friendly feature at first, and not only that, but have no rewards associated with it. So I don't think there'll be any cost, and I don't think there'll be any rewards. I think. They want to yeah, make- I think I think people are forgetting that the monetization will come from you not wanting to get beat. If you go against someone that has a a, a way a bigger team than you, it, it you're gonna you're gonna want to beat them somehow, and the monetization comes from you uh, building your characters up. That that's what it is. It's not like it's gonna be yeah. So that's 
they're pretty easy. And they actually do just kind of on that note, again, that they've said that like their main thing is they want it to just be fun and accessible to everyone at first. And then they'll explore again, ways to maybe put rewards in place for some, something that involves some portion of PVP in the future, but that's at first, not their main concern. Um, yeah. But so they, in, in uh, the spirit of that, they have two different features for, uh, they, they have one that's uh, like boosted. So like if I wanted to go against a new player, they have a, like a boosted roster mode where they're all, everyone on their roster would get boosted to a certain point, like mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. minimum power on all their characters. I don't know what it is, but it'd be something like, you know, five red star, at least six, 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 four abilities, at least level 70 on everyone, whatever it is. We don't know the numbers. And then they yeah. also have, um, like a separately, like a no characters over this strength can be used. Set oh, up. sure. Sure. So I, th- I think you answered the next one. Super Saiyan Ben asked, will there be a daily objective for PvP or where there'll be a rewards ranking for it? Or can I just cheese it with a friend alt account? Well, you can, it's like a mixed answer there. You said there was no rewards, right? You're not going to have to do it. I think it's going to be optional, uh, at least. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, Pathfinder 177 in Galaxy Heroes, there is a grand arena, which looks so fun. Basically a 1v1 with your roster, a 1v1 war with your rosters. Do you like that idea? Yep, that's 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 as cool to me. Any, I realistically any new type of game modes, whatever it is, I like the idea of it. Any, any. I'm gonna tell you right now that that it was a good concept at first, and then it got shit um, on too. I'm sure. So, got, yeah, Galaxy until Hero is the up, perfect example. Until, until you get paired up against like a casino roster, and then you're gonna be like, oh wait a second, uh, this is not as great as it was because that's how it was programmed. Like it was there was a flaw, major flaw that people like myself that were like, I came to the game two years late, and I was getting matched against people that were in like the number one alliance in oh, the game, and it was like get wrecked, dude, like zero chance of winning. But I, it's a great concept. Like yeah. don't get me wrong. It was I fun feel like Galaxy Heroes compete. is the example of things that we don't want to happen to this game. It, it, it is a great concept. And like, I'm not trying to downplay it. It's just like there, there needs to be some balancing there in order for it to be like right. fairly competitive. Or a ranking you know? system. Like, or a TCP, yeah, a TCP yeah, yeah. like uh, not rank, but like more so you get in league with someone the this, this similar TCP than you. I don't know. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, BD Discman, another one. Do you think Black Order will be the uh, the uh, be all end all arena team, or will there still be diversity? Hope Arena just become a Red Star shit show. I feel like this kind of answer, but you know, please take it away. No, it's yeah. always going to be a Red Star well, shit show. Well, uh, I'd say there's there's decent versatility uh, and and there's decent variability in arena now. Uh, diversity is the word I was looking for. It took me a while. Uh, decent diversity. I, I see one team with like a giant ghost rider. There's another team with a, a giant uh, Sue Storm and Human Torch combo. There, there's like two or three characters that you really have to have. And then some people have a big Mr. Sinister. People with a big enough yo-yo have yo-yo on there. But like my arena shards, decently diverse. They, they all have uh, uh, Phoenix and they almost all have like Black Bolt. But uh, beyond that, it's pretty diverse. So I really hope that it goes that way. They they They've only completely dictated the arena meta once and that was with the fury shield teams when they yeah. got fury shield and fury shield was like intentionally a team that is significantly th- like they were the first hard synergy team they were designed to th- they were the first like legendary event post launch that was like you really want to pay for these characters because they are going to stomp everyone sure um, mm-hmm. I remember and those days so that was the the one and only time they've dictated the arena meta and i think they've gotten away from that uh, so I hope that they stay away from that. I agree because even before I had Ultron and Phoenix, I was still finding ways to counter Ultron and Phoenix. It wouldn't always work. It was and it was hard. They were hard fights, but it still was possible. And like now, obviously, it's easier with me having a Ultron and Phoenix, but it is possible. I think unless you're going at someone whose arena team is, you know, 150k above yours and they have a full black order at that you're like dude they're top one anyway you're not gonna be like you know you got that's a, that's a fight so yep. i don't know i th- i think that they definitely do an okay in diversity in it you know uh, uh, up until like the the 10 spot shard because then you're just like fighting people your size anyway i guess yep but it's or hopefully like, maybe i don't know well, well being able to find counters that aren't that team like like not being able to win without black order is less of a concern. The player base is usually pretty good about figuring out some kind of counter. I think yeah. more of the concern is, is it just going to be, you have the five black order and that's what you use period. And any, right. any other combination of black order plus is worse 
or will there be a black order hybrid and will if we have like one freakishly strong seven red star character will it make sense to sub them in or have they hard-coded arena too much where it's just i'm using five black order vash is using five black order uh, may the best red stars win i think that's yeah. more the concern so hopefully mm-hmm. high hy- there are some hybrids that are better than just the pure the pure five yeah true true uh, two questions from Sylvia, 1990. The second we've answered already. The first one, any rumors or idea about the Alliance credit rework maybe will be used for Alliance uh, War Alliance Room expansion? So they, they haven't said anything about a War credit rework that I'm aware of. Um, they have, since War came out, one of the plans that they've always had for War is room upgrades. Uh, they thought about tying it to like your alliance level and your daily donations. They've thought about tying right. it to rewards, but they've always wanted to do room upgrades. And we just recently saw a bunch of data mines detailing what some of the bonuses for room upgrades might entail. Um, and it was some cool stuff, like giving uh, extra ability energy to characters on load in and uh, healing everyone a certain amount, uh, cool stuff like that. But so, yeah, yeah th- really the data mines are all we've heard, but they, they want to do room upgrades for a while. And uh yeah, I think uh, the well, kind of the balance that won't be a bad thing. Was one of those because uh, th- I was trying to sift through the data mine that I had seen on your channel, and like, was one of those talking about like a sniper ability of maybe like being able to snipe out? Yeah, yeah. And again, it's kind of unclear what that'll mean, but I, my guess to that is like you get to pick one one enemy and just like chunk them for a good bit of health before the match. That's pretty cool. That'd be cool. That'd be interesting, especially against like a big meta team like Red Skull. Or I don't know. That's cool. The difficult, kind of cool. spicy. I don't know. It just seems yeah. interesting. Also, tough. You know, it adds a different layer of strategy to it. It's not just like you know, throw this amount of you know, throw your teams against a wall. That kind of stuff. You know, especially if you run into you know, these bigger alliances. Like yeah. I did one. That was, that was fun. Don't recommend. Yeah. Second question oh, was uh, fights you had was against about, about crash the compensation we talked about that a bunch uh whopper jaw what is going on with customer service every player i know that has had an issue has it to add at the end of an existing open ticket these tickets have been open for more than a week now wow. i mean but that's just that's, that's hard, I, but... I, yeah it's hard it's honestly right now guys i think it's really hard to i don't want to say don't be don't be on top of 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 any businesses video games specifically if they're messing up, like obviously still score ticket, but like a lot of these companies are based in Asia. They have a lot of, they have a lot of like, de- a lot of things are, and not just Asia now, now we're seeing it worldwide and coronavirus is a real thing. We're seeing it all over. Uh, I don't want to say like, give them a break, still put your tickets and still do stuff. But like, remember we're dealing with a worldwide pandemic right now. So. So I have a, a, a theory on this. this is unconfirmed, but, uh, Given that we know that they outsource some things, one of the most common things to outsource is it's customer service. Customer service. It's mm-hmm. very, very common. And mm-hmm. uh, I know that uh, in other countries, for example, like in India, they have a lot of, um, like, I don't know if you want to call them like offices set up for people to do stuff like that. But all the PC hardware that they use for that is located in the office. They don't take their, they don't have like laptops they take home with them. It's like come in yep. the center and go to work. So now that uh, countries like that have rules where it's like, you just know you can't leave the house. They can yeah. access their machines they would use to work. So I'm, I'm pretty sure again, not based on anything that's confirmed, but I'm pretty sure that they lost a bulk of their. Um, I think, it, I think it's good speculation. I think it's yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Honestly. Between that and how often I notice support uh, failing to compromise or sorry, failing to comprehend some of the basic English used by the person who submitted yep. the ticket, uh, I think it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, and the last question, Sylvia, is Red Skull bugged in war? Uh, oftentimes, I happen that my mate go in with one attack, consume all eight charges, then I go. Red Skull should respond with all eight charges. Uh, sorry, I think this is not a. a I remember Red Skull that question. Uh, I can okay. answer it. That's not how Red Skull works. So Red Skull okay. in his kit says if he has at least one Hydra minion on the team, and if he has full health, and if he has no charges, then he spawns in with eight charges. Got it. Only if all those conditions are met. If uh, and he's always going to have Hydra minions on his team, unless the person who put him on defense is very dumb. So it's a matter <laughs> of did he lose any health, and uh, uh, does he have? more than zero charges so you can there are damaging abilities that are health steal abilities that will still hurt him so for example minerva's ult will still take health off of him but uh sometimes he loses 20 hp my guess is uh and i'm not 100 sure but my guess is someone went in and did a health steal and then 
he got healed up. He just didn't get healed up the full amount. Like he, he got healed up most of the amount. Um, mm. And there's also, he does have crazy resistance to bleed, but I think if you actually get a bleed to stick on him, it will still do damage to him. And I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but uh, I also want to verify that someone just said, if you land a defense down on him, you can also hurt him. I don't believe that's true. If anyone has footage of that, please send it to me. I've heard a few people saying it. It doesn't seem to me like it would be true. Um, and he also has crazy resistance toward that. But if it's true, I, I very much want to see footage of it so I can put it to, to rest. People keep telling me they've done it. If you have footage of it, please send it to me so that I can yes. know for sure. Um, but the fact that no one sent me a video and I keep saying, show me the video so I'll know. Um, anyway, so it's possible that you can get a defense down on him. He gets crazy resistance to both those things. But the way focus versus resistance works is there's like a, we don't know what the exact floor and ceiling are, but there's something like, we're going to guess it's 3%. Again, we don't know the exact number, but something like, 3% of the time, your debuff will always land, and 3% of the time, your defense will never land, or, or your debuff will never land. So even with this crazy resistance, you can still get a bleed or a defense down on him, and then that. And then if he's lost any charges whatsoever, or he's not at full health, he's not going to pop back up to 8 charges, which he's not supposed to do anyway. Even if he's at full health, he's only supposed to generate 8 charges if he has 0. So you're supposed to be able to just wear his charges down time after time. That's just how he's supposed to work. There's just a small yeah. loophole where you can get screwed whereby, uh, uh, what, what am I trying to say? There's a small loophole where uh, if you if you remove all eight of his charges, but accidentally leave him at full health, then he'll, on the next one, generate eight more and screw your next alliance. Then you're done. Then your alliance, again. Then your alliance hates you. So don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have ever attacked him if that's the case. So. Yeah, just, just put it out. Yeah, <laughs> and just back out and just like take the loss and you'll be fine. So, but anyway, I think that that uh, covers all the questions we had. Dami had to run to the bathroom because he was holding it in because he crushed that white claw both on his head and also from drinking it. So he had to run off and he's not here to defend himself. So he's just going to hear about this later. So, uh, Casino, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. That's all we had on there. So it's always a pleasure to have you on. You're the whole reason why we started this podcast in the first place. So, appreciate having you on and being a friend of the pod and have done so much to help us out with everything so yeah appreciate you taking the time man no problem as always thank you guys for having me on i'm it's always a pleasure i'm always down to be on i'm glad you guys added chef Carando. i've uh, seen his name Thanks, around for a while in the content creation game so i'm glad he's getting in on this bunch of good people um yeah trying we, to, man it was just uh it worked out timing wise because uh we brought him on to help out because i was getting crazy with work and everything like that and then uh then we all everybody stopped working so now, now we're all the three are just having a good conversation um, about everything so it works out you know some things happen for a reason if you believe that way i don't but i just say it anyway so oh, yeah no uh, and where can people find you i'm sure people know where to find you on on twitch and all that stuff but why don't you uh, give a little shout out to your channels and you know, discord and all that fun stuff all right the the main three i'd say i've been streaming every day between 5 and 6 p.m pacific time is what i've been starting and that's youtube.com slash casino which is k-h-a-s-i-n-o I got twitch.tv slash casino, but uh, the best way to stay up to date with what I'm doing and where you can find me is discord.gg slash casino. We have blitz predictions, infographics, videos, data mines, content creator Q&A, uh, a bot uh, in the chat that like pulls up all sorts of resources and stuff. It's great. So yeah, everyone should join that. And then I have an announcements channel and I'll just tell you whenever I'm going live, like I just uh, told some people I'd be on this podcast. So it's the best way to find me. Yeah. Yeah, we started doing the same with our our Discord as well with our Me Six bot. It's been great. It's a, it's a good way to just automatically know because I was just always going through and and tagging people, and then I was like, why why am I doing this? I'm sure there's yeah. a bot that can. Do it. So, which just, Dommy, it just do got... we get the do we get the second White Claw crush or are we? No, I'm not, I actually have a red mark. There's a red mark on my head now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a bump and a red mark. That's I'm not. I was a little tipsy from just crushing these two real fast, but like, there's not. That's not happening again. Well, so you've got oh, some time to prep, but I heard that for you to get your next belt in jujitsu, you do have to crush a can in one shot. So, oh, I'm so far from that. It's uh, if, if only crushing a can was it, I would I would literally make that my lights gold to do that by tomorrow. I believe you. Oh, you got it. 
Well, thanks uh, again, Casino, coming on. You can find us on Instagram at OG.podcast. Our, our Twitter is Overachievers P. Our website is beingoverachiever.com. We're going to get this episode and every episode where we talk about Marvel Strike Force, video games in general, other games we're playing, other Marvel mobile games, all that sort of stuff. You can, uh, if you like this podcast and you've been, uh, you want to support it, please just give us a review, a five star review on whatever platform that you're listening on that does that. Give, that helps us out the most because that puts us in the queue for rankings and all that sort of thing just for um, people going on and talking about the podcast we also have we also stream this live whenever we do it it's twitch.tv slash og podcast and you can uh follow us on there at turn on notifications you'll let us know uh, we'll let you know whenever we are uh, go live with this podcast we also stream other games and whatnot that we're going to play um the three of us will stream random stuff that we're playing on that too uh, we also have a patreon which uh right now the only thing we have to do right now with all this pandemic is this podcast so if you want to support us uh we just really, i think we only have like a, a two dollar or one dollar and five dollar option um on the patreon so that's patreon.com slash overachievers i want to say but you can also get that link below in the description of the podcast so anything helps us this is our full-time job right now, so this is all we can do. So uh, thank you very much for everyone to joining us with the live stream. Uh, there's quite a bit of you. There's 150 of us um, watching, so I appreciate all the love, support, and uh, Casino thank you. Thank you for being a part. We'll stay on the live stream for a bit after we're done recording, but uh, to stick around and answer any other questions you may have. So, But until next time, guys, we'll see you all next week. Cheers. Cheers.